Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing Guess the Republican. We have five people, four of them are Democrats, and one of them is a secret Republican. And our job is to figure out who's who. To make this fair, there will be no political questions. We're gonna try and guess based off their lifestyle. First round, we're going off looks. Let's try and figure out who we think based off looks. Okay, I feel like you're you're not. You remind me of somebody on an LL Bean catalog. I don't feel like a lot of Republicans are braiding their hair and going camping. I feel like with the blazer over here, you've got a lot of strict points you wanna make. It does look like she'd just be ready to drop things and argue with you at any time. What do you, what do you think, Lawrence? The guy in the, in the, the flannel, that gives off very right-winged Republican side, personally, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I'm just stereotyping and I'm fine with that. If you combine flannel with beard, it's a Republican 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's a redhead too, so he probably grew up with a hard life. A lot of people making fun of him. He's like, I'm gonna show you. But also, you're you're ripped. And I thought I, like a lot of Republicans have a lot of anger to kind of take off, like, like you know what I mean? Right, but like if you can calmly weightlift, you know, you, oh. it's calm for me. Off that voice, no. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he seems like such a, just like, what do they call him, a snowflake? <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if they call him that. Ari, what do you think? You're kind of an expert. I think it's the flannel man. Yeah. That being said, my second choice is the Fila shoes. Who wears those still? <laughs> no. I was gonna say, I've never seen shiny Fila before, to yeah, be honest true. with you. You know what I think? I think the ringer is the black guy. Yeah, we haven't been talking about you, Mr. Man. I think the black man is the ringer, the way he's, the bottom of his pants are folded up to me yeah. is dangerous. Yeah. Like he's not walking around a black neighborhood like that. And you look too comfortable around these whites, to be honest yeah. with you. He looks like he's comfortable being the token black man. Yes! And I know that because that was me. All right, well, let's get to know these guys. Let's figure out what their name is, where they're from. Starting with number one. What is your name and where are you from? I'm Paulina. Uh, I'm from rural Kentucky. Oh! oh no! Anytime they say rural. <laughs> Who says rural? You would've just said Kentucky. She said rural. She needed us to know. She said, I'm nowhere near Louisville. I'm just out there in the sticks in the farm. I feel like it's less of a chance to be her because she made it out of rural Kentucky to LA. Ooh, good point, good point. That means you were surrounded by racists your whole life. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Or she wanted to be racist on the main stage. Well, hold on, where in LA do you live? In Burbank. If she would've said West Hollywood, yeah. I'd be like, ah. All right, number two, what is your name? Where are you from? I'm Jimmy, I'm from Florida. Look how he lifted his hand up. I don't like how he did that. Where are you from, Jimmy? Uh, Florida, Destin, Florida. That's rural Florida. I don't know if it's rural Florida, you know, it's like fishing, they do fishing there. That's rural. What, what's your favorite uh, fish to go fishing? I've caught baby sharks. I've caught baby sharks before, so by default it's them. Admitting to shark hunting is pretty right side leaning. The hand raise, me up. But now his hands are behind his back. Very military. Very you know, military. Very, very your dad, you called your dad sir type yeah. thing. Yeah. He got that that little white smile. You know how when you walk past white people, they do look. Yeah, 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 they're polite. You know? And that's the thing though, it's cause he has that smile like, he just called the cops. He's like, don't call, he's yeah. like, ah, too late buddy, what sorry. I don't know what you guys are talking sorry, about. I don't like this train of thought. Okay, all right. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. <laughs> all right, number three, what is your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Justin. Uh, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Okay, D-Town. Uh, you are a token black guy? I went to a high school or a school like throughout my life where it was predominantly white. So. In Detroit? The school is in Gross Point. Are you into men or are you into women? Uh, what do you think I'm into? Gay. Uh <laughs> Wait, what? He's got the purple, he said, he's got the he Chuck jeans. My like, gaydar is crazy. He's gay, like, but still f women. No, I'm gay. Thank you. That's not, there's no fluidity. Uh, Justin, go ahead and have a seat. We'll be. <laughs> I'm about to say, if you, if you are a black, gay man, and Republican, it's like it's like the universe just happened. But he could be the token in all yes. of these arenas. Because yes. are he gay? Right? Sometimes, or the weekends? I don't know. But he's not black and from true. Detroit. That is true, though, because if he took the stance of being a black, gay, Republican, you would sell so much merch. Yeah. If, but if he turns out to be the Republican at the end of the video, you're gonna come out here famous as Aren't Republican people usually like religious? I wouldn't say usually, uh, but I they can be. Like most <laughs> religious people are Republican, but not most Republicans are religious. Okay, I just mean if he's a gay man, the religion thing. Are, are you religious, Justin? No. I would say being Republican doesn't go hand in hand with being gay as much. No, definitely not. I do know several right, uh, right wing conservative gays. Are they black? Oh, I know several. How do you know them? 
Yeah, yeah. Hang out with them, huh? Through yeah. various means. I know about those KKK meetings. Yeah. Number four, what is your name and where are you from? My name's Nick and I'm from New Jersey. Okay, it's oh. Nick. Bro, he's got the voice. I just agree. Nick, after that right there, it let me know he plays fantasy football on Sunday and DMs the players like, why did you not catch that pass? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he's that dude, like the athletes post a picture, just like 16 messages. <laughs> you, why didn't you catch that? You ain't shit. I know this guy. But what do you do for a living? I'm a video editor. Nah, he too sweet. Yeah, he you is. a nerd. He probably be watching One Piece too. I what love One Piece. Piece. Oh. <laughs> video editor, that's probably a low tax bracket. You know <laughs> Did you hear Audrey? He said? he said video editor, probably a low tax bracket. <laughs> oh my God. You could uh, hide a lot of the taxable income as a video editor. Okay, don't go to prison in this video. Okay. Anybody You're from the IRS is watching right now, contact me, I'll have Nick's information. Okay, number five. What is your name, where are you from? I'm Adrian, I'm from Frankfurt, Germany originally, but I've been an American citizen for a moment. For a month? A long moment. I mean, honestly, Germany, Germany. I was not gonna say anything, but I thought you would worry, think about that. If I was German and I came to America with German ideas, I'd probably be leaning more towards the right side. So what part of Germany are you from? Frankfurt. They go hard left. They go hard left? Correct. Yeah, because they have to correct themselves. What do you do for a living? I'm a writer and producer. Come on, she worked with a lot of blacks, a lot of yeah, diversity. Yeah, oh, look, you hear it, she's like, not that many in your field, huh? Wait, uh, Paulina, what do you do for a living? I'm a supportive wife. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. So we know her husband has money. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, do you have kids though? Not yet. Okay. But you're okay. still staying at home. Just preparing. Yeah. Okay. So y'all trying to have kids soon. What does your husband do? He works in tech. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna lie though, that screams left. Are you sure? Typically. Yeah. typically. Obviously there's what, what, exception. What? People at Microsoft or left? Yeah, yeah, typically. The ones that actually work and do the tech stuff, engineering. Microsoft is based out of Seattle. Um, a lot of engineers are educated, Asian, okay. liberal. Oh, what race is your husband? He's Mexican. Oh, and we back! Wow. And we back! And we are back! We have landed. We have landed. Yeah. How'd you and your Mexican husband meet? You could just call him her husband. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you and your spicy Latino man? No, stop, Ari. Ask her the question correctly. How'd you and your significant other yeah. poppy, as you might call him? <laughs> At the Republican National Convention. Uh, no, we, <laughs> we met online. Oh, nice. Yeah. The fact that she made that joke, I mean. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, Jimmy, what do, you, what do you do for a living? I'm actually a video editor as well, but oh. also gigs. Then why are you so buff? Yeah, you're jacked. <laughs> video editing is really tough, you know? You what, how often are you going to the gym? Well, I try to go five days a week. So you're good. currently single, aren't you? No, I'm um, kind of. Kind of. Oh. Situationship? We're, yeah, situationship. What race is she? Indian. Huh, we found ourselves another lefty. Jimmy, are you vaccinated? I am, yes. Oh, for sure left. Are you are you close with your family? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. What that gotta do with anything? <laughs> I'm just qualities I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> she got a different agenda today. <laughs> Justin, what do you do for work? Uh, I write and direct. Justin, who is your favorite CEO? <laughs> what? I don't have a favorite CEO. What's Everyone. a couple top ones? Couple top ones? I can't even name like one CEO. I mean, you can, you definitely can. Bill Gates was a CEO, retired. Elon Steve Jobs. And I only know those though, I don't like them. Let's move on. Who's your favorite gay celebrity? Oh, I don't really follow yeah, gay celebrities. So he doesn't find celebrities, doesn't follow CEOs. This man may be a sneaky Republican. What, what do you do on the weekend? What's your Sunday look like? Ooh, okay. I like just being outdoors a lot, hiking, biking, beach. Um, kind of a little bit of a board game nerd sometimes. Board games? Yeah. See, not Kevin looking for a man. <laughs> I'm looking for a friend. You're all, <laughs> all right, what, what board game would you say is your most played? Uh, most played or favorite? Favorite. Yeah, Sellers of Catan, Splendor, a lot of nerdy ones, Carcassonne. Okay, you name the games, I don't even know. Is that like a group, so it's like a big group board game? Some of them are. Okay. Um, they're they're kind of uh, like some of them are a little more like puzzle oriented. So you like to hang you like to hang out in groups. So are you in your group of friends since you yeah. moved to D from Detroit? Are you still the token black? 
I have a mix. I was gonna say, I've noticed that gays are way better at getting together as groups than anything else. I don't actually have a lot of gay friends. I'm trying to like build that more. So he don't even like being around. I yeah. feel. Do you not, do you not go to the Abbey? Do you go to WeHo? No, I'm not part of the scene at all. Did you not hear what he said? I'm not part of the scene at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me, I, I think I just figured him out. Cause you gotta think, he does not fit into any social norm. That's what I'm saying. He's black, but he don't really be around the black, black people, people like that. He gay, but he don't be around the gay, gay people so like that. He don't care what people think. He yes. don't fit into a box. Yeah. I'm watching you. Wait, what's your favorite podcast? Cause if it's uh, Rogan. In the Dark. It's a, it's like a. a murder mystery, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. It's like a it, true crime. It's him. It might be. We gotta watch him. Justin, I'm not gonna lie, man. You have moved up very many levels. Yeah, Paulina's out. For show, sure. Jimmy, yeah. I don't know because I Jimmy's thought, out. No, no, you know why? Because Jimmy keeps inserting himself in conversations. Yeah, we were talking to Justin. He kept giving Justin like, yeah, you know, you should say this, yeah. whatever. That's some Republican. No, no, type no, that's shit. ally. That's liberal you think stuff. So? He's like, I got you, black. Did you guy. did you hear how fast Jimmy got the vaccine? Yeah, well, that was fast. That's like a Johnson that and Johnson was, type yeah, of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He, no, Jimmy just excited because he uh, took pre workout before this. Let's go towards the <laughs> but the other side of the room. <laughs> Nick, what do you, you say? You're a video editor. What does your Sunday look like? Uh, a lot of One Piece. Um, Sunday, I mean, I'll play some basketball. You guys were right. You guys were right. I'm not, I don't think it's Nick. I want to kick it with you, Nick. I like you. Any white guy just goes and plays pick up basketball? Right. Nick, the, the thing about Nick, you seem like you fit in so well and yeah. like that everybody likes you, but you everybody's got a big secret. And I'm like, that could be your big secret. What, what is your big secret? Jeez. It's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> hey Nick, what's your dad do for a living? He's a really bad type of lawyer. Corporate defense lawyer. Corporate defense lawyer and he doesn't like him. I love my dad. He's just a bad lawyer. He's a great lawyer for for bad people. If it, he would like it if it was if the corporate thing Yeah, he's, he's left. He's yeah. left. And basketball yeah. courts are diverse. Yeah. Like Nick looks like the guy that he he'll he'll go get me my rebound and kick it back out to me yeah. shoot three. <laughs> and then he's gonna say, Good shot, Good shot. Lauren. Even if I miss. Oh, hey Nick, yeah. who's your favorite musical artist? Ed Sheeran? No. <laughs> you know, maybe Daft Punk. Oh. Oh nice. Okay, okay, let's talk to Adrian. I think we should eliminate someone. Let After we talk, talk to Adrian, yeah. So Adrian, what do you do for a living? You already asked me that, but I'm a, a writer, producer. She's spicy. Yes, yes. That was a test. I knew I already asked her that. Are you Are you married? No. Do you have a partner? I don't have time for that. Oh, married to the grind. Do you come from a religious background? Hell no. What's your favorite TV show? Star Trek. I feel like that's very left. It is. Yeah. Who's your favorite actor? Steve McQueen. When did you move to America? 2005. There aren't a lot of black people in Germany, are there? Well, there are some. The, the several that are there, did you have a diverse friend group? Yes. I was gonna say, I feel like Germany messed up so bad in World War II, they've just been spending time making up for it. What, are your, what did your parents do for work? They both retired, but uh, they were both graphic designers. Do they still live in Germany? In Germany, yeah. Would you, do you, do you get vaccinated? Yes. Okay, let's eliminate one person. Who do you wanna eliminate? I personally would wanna eliminate uh, Jimmy. Yeah, if I had to eliminate off off like the rip, I would say Jimmy. Cause Pauline, yes, she married a Mexican, but there's some Mexican Republicans. And it could be a cover up, the same way gay people getting married, have children, cover up. She could be married a Mexican, cover up. I so would personally want to keep Paulina and Justin. And I hate to say it, but man with the muscles, I'm gonna have you gotta to. Gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't, Wait, don't, leave, no yet. don't leave yet. It's a whole panel, baby. Yeah. I'm not necessarily sure on Jimmy because he got that little white smirk that I don't trust. No, also, he was so fast to leave as as if like get it fucked up. He like got him. <laughs> like he was like, oh yeah, dude. He's boosted. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, get the fuck out of here, bro. Time to take a seat. Well done. Fun, uh, we'll bring you, bring you back at the end. We'll bring you back. All right, we narrowed it down to four people. I'm pretty confident. I this might be crazy. I think it's Justin. He's being very mysterious. Well, and it's like, and I like, he like wanted to reassure us that there's gay Republicans out there. And the other thing is, me. he's smart and liberals are all really dumb. Thank you, Ari, for that piece of information. So I wanna, can we just talk about Paulina for a second? Because I do agree with y'all that just because her husband is Mexican, that yeah. does not mean that yeah. we should just yeah. throw her off. The, is there anything else that threw you off about her? Kentucky. Um, Rural Kentucky. Yeah, why did you move? from Kentucky. My husband's job. So you met him in Kentucky? Or you guys met online? We met online, yeah. And did you meet when you were here or you were in Kentucky when you guys met? I was actually out here, yeah. How long you been married? Two years. How did your parents feel about you dating somebody outside your race? 
Oh, Ooh. that exhale was long. My sister got married before I did. To a? A black man. A black man? She Family. paved the way. Oh, she paved the way. Oh. Are you hearing this? So you got some black nieces and nephews? Not yet. Your right. sister crawled so you could walk. Wow. <laughs> but how did your parents feel about this? They were there. They were there? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, what? <laughs> they were there. AK, oh, it was like, crazy. it was like, okay, mom and dad need to walk down the aisle and they was pissed. They were like, ah, we're here. Then that's as much as we're gonna do yeah, is yeah. Be, here. be here. Where was the wedding? Kentucky. No, I have, I, I figured it out, I, but I figured it out. You don't even need to ask it. She, her and her sister are going against the upbringing yes. that her parents gave yes. her. Because yes. her parents may have been the Republicans yes. and they were like, I don't agree with that. We're yes. gonna live our lives. I'm going to LA. And that's why this was my question. Did your dad pay for the wedding? He's, he's a retired police officer, so. Police officer? And we're figuring this out now? No, but this all goes it's with my theory, money. bro. But that, even that, if she rebels against, that doesn't mean she rebels in every aspect of life. That's what I was gonna say. But that's the biggest aspect yeah. that would create some divide between her and her parents. I think Do you still call your parents every week? Uh, not every week. How did your extended family feel about your sister getting married to a black man? There were some that weren't for it. To me, that makes more sense to why they like, we're gonna live our lives. I don't agree with this rural Kentucky upbringing. I think she's the rebel, house of disappointed parents, but she's living her life. Do you have any other siblings? Two brothers. Well, what, what's their story? What'd they do? My brother... <laughs> dated a black woman. The other brother dated an Asian woman. They just said, <laughs> yeah. all this shit. Uh, let's see, one of my brothers works in construction and then the youngest one uh, has special needs, so he's, he lives at home. And with, were, were your brothers excited or were they like your parents just there? Well, they were excited to get more brothers. Oh. Big brothers, so okay. yeah. All right, love that. Okay. Uh, Justin, you next, you better pucker up. I think it's Justin. Yeah. Justin, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that hard to get into the community out here. Not as somebody who's in the community as well. Right. I feel like it's a good time. And oh. I'm straight, I'm in the community, I feel. Yeah. Just by being around LA. You gotta go avoid the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you had partners before? I have one right now. What race? Yeah. He's black. How did your parents feel about you uh, being gay? One was more accepting than the other. Hey I Justin, do you think that I could come play board games with you and your partner? I mean, if you're that like course. normal. Just based off so far, do you think <laughs> that you would like me to do that? Or do you think like maybe no? Right now I'm feeling no, cause you're just giving me creepy vibes. <laughs> I mean, that's correct. That's, that's, that is that's correct. correct. That's correct. That is correct. <laughs> but I, in general, I, I, am, I like playing board games with many, many people, so. You know what that sounded like, the many people? It sounded like someone who doesn't like to play with many people, yeah. but just wants to be politically correct. I like to yeah. play, I like, I like I like to hang out with, with yeah. all sorts of people Please. around the world. All board games. All man. board, everybody should get a seat at the table. Do you drink? I don't drink. That's why. I don't do alcohol, I don't That's do drugs, I, have, I don't smoke, I haven't done any of those, yeah. Wait, so why do you not drink? Just never wanted to. You've never been drunk before? Never, literally never had a drink. Hey, get this man a bottle real fast. Hey, Let's figure man. this out. We're gonna get the truth. I don't think it's Justin anymore. Cause I think he's just like a nerdy board game guy who doesn't like to drink and he's just low key. I also very recently came out. Wait a second, hold on. That just threw me off. Yeah, how recently? Uh, 2020. Congratulations. 2020, and my thing though, come on, be honest. You could have came out the closet earlier. They knew, or you was, you was hiding it. I was in the closet even for myself. I mean, I was I was dating a woman at the time. I said from the beginning he's gay, but he does have sex with women, and I was right. Okay. Nick, gay son or thought daughter? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, we know what a thought is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gay, gay son, son gay easier. Son. That is a, that is a left wing. Nick is an ally. He was walking with us during Black Lives Matter. Wait, why does that say that he's left leaning? Gay say, son over thought daughter. Well, thought daughter, women's rights. You can wear whatever the you want. Yeah, like either way, you could make an argument no. for left or right. Yeah, it's a tough question. Yeah, I don't necessarily <laughs> think that that. Okay, what's your argument? What's your argument for um for the thought thought daughter? A gay son or a thought daughter? You better say gay. What you why? What you mean? Why would you want a thought daughter getting ran through? That sounds crazy. Daughter. You'd be walking around and be, oh man, I just hit your daughter the other week. Okay, oh, I seen her on OnlyFans. Who's walking up to dad's like, I just hit your daughter the other week? You never know, but you know and that's your daughter getting ran through. And you would want to raise a daughter be like, man, don't fall for these boys. This, you, gay son, whatever. A thought daughter, bad choice, I'd bad decision making. He, he would have a thought daughter. Thought daughters can uh, reform and change their ways. Gay guys are stuck that way. But that thought is oh, on damn. you forever. Adrian. 
Star Trek hello. The Star Trek hello. She's a nerd too. I'm a nerd, I'm not gonna lie. Do you go to conventions? Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have a uniform and everything. Oh, I'd like to her. see that. What do you dress up as? Diana Troy from Next Generation. The blue uniform, the counselor. I didn't watch Star Trek. I was playing sports. Did you come to America thinking yourself like, oh, Star Trek? Or do you, was that like part of your? I grew up with Star Trek. In Germany? In Germany, yeah. I think every child should watch Star Trek, actually. I believe it's very educational. Why? Because it's very diverse and you learn about, you learn about differences, you learn about different thinking. So Adrian, you sound like a good person, but I'm gonna cross you right off. Who do you think it is between these three? That's really hard. I don't know. See that? You see that? Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't be peeping how Cam be cooking. Cam be cooking. World's best guesser. Give me a trophy. That was a setup. I didn't say it. But the fact that you tried to. If it was her, she would have been like, well, I can't do that. But she tried to play along. I'm ready to vote. My vote is it's either Paulina or Adrian. And we got to eliminate, I think. It's not Adrian. It's not Adrian. It's not Adrian. I think we can comfortably eliminate Adrian. I would be more confident with Paulina at this point. Adrian's out. No one's going to Star Trek conventions. That's a Republican. You think so? No way. I've never been, so I don't know. Zane, what do you think? Aren't you, don't you do that kind of shit? Hell no. <laughs> and Zane is as right wing I, as you I'm, get. I, I'm more confident about Nick being a Democrat. I am not, I am not confident in Nick being a Democrat. Really? Oh, yeah. He's smug as shit. What? Smug He's so delightful. He's yeah. so smug. nice. My boy Nick was nice as hell. What are you talking about? He's, He's getting crazy. red. Look at what you did. I think your stereotypical judgment is way off. I'm gonna get rid of Paulina. How are we not getting rid of Paulina? She's from Kentucky. So what, bro? She's married to a Mexican. Her sister's married to a black guy. Like what? A lot of Mexicans are Republicans now. I know, but if you do the black and the Mexican. That's her sister, not her. She would never date a black guy. But her sister made it so she could accept the fact that dating outside race is not an issue. But, I, but maybe the, the way she won her dad over was like, okay, I get your racist, but I will side with you. You are Republican. No. I also see, no. see what Ari says, which is like, right. not not everything could have moved over. Yeah. She could have been like, yes, I will be inclusive and all this, but I'm still gonna vote. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Let's if y'all like, want to yeah, go to somebody else, who who we taking out? I think we take out Nick or Adrian. 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 I think Adrian a thousand percent. All right, Adrian. Look at that, the heart. Ah, oh, oh, Star Trek love. You said Nick has a secret, but Justin carried a secret for years. Yeah. Yeah. Justin is just, he's exploring himself. He's coming into his own. He's, I don't think it's him. I think you're very in touch with who you are right now. And I don't feel like a lot of liberal democratic people are very in touch with their emotions and they're bettering themselves. Audrey just doesn't want to see a gay guy be a Republican. Well, we dove into Polina's family. Justin, what about your family? Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have two uh, older sisters, Where's significantly they? older. Where do they live at? One lives in Nashville and the other lives back in the Detroit area. Are they married or? Uh, they're both married. Uh, my oldest sister has uh, two kids. What, what race? Uh, married to a black guy, has two kids. And then uh, middle sister is uh, married to a white guy. What, what type of car do you drive? For, uh, Ford Escape. It's, based, it's not a Toyota Prius, I'll it's tell you that. Weekend. Nick, what kind of car do you drive? A Chevy Cruze. Paulina, what kind of car do you drive? Volkswagen Taos. Bro, it's not her, bro. Get, the, get her out of here, man. Yeah, I agree. Nick, your girlfriend is crying. A, do you console her? Or B, are you like, come on, let's walk it off? Depends on the type of cry. Ah! See, I told you here's a secret. That's crazy. I feel that. I, I feel that too. It's like, what are you crying for? That's what you gonna tell her? Shit, we, I gotta get to the bottom of the root. Sure. You know, you know, you know, these are the single people. Yeah. No, nah, these are masculine men. Justin, are you a top or a bottom? Wow. I am a, a top slash side. Oh, What's a side? What? A side is everything that's not uh, Penetration. That's I think Justin's our man. Wait, why would that lead you to believe bottoms. that? Uh, Democrats are all bottoms. Oh, hey, wait, okay. Oh. Well, that's, oh, you, you know what's worse? He laughing like he agrees. I think we eliminated one more person you're right now. I, I think we have to go with Paulina. I think you're making a mistake, but. I, I think Paulina's gotta go. I'm fine with that. Keep Nick. Keep Nick. Yeah, I think you, Nick do got something I about him. You. Nick got something about him. I told him. you. I'm, Nick got something about him, I don't know. But he like too good to be true. He, he probably voted for Trump because he liked him. Yeah. 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 Just based off family history, I gotta get rid of Paulina, yeah. man. She yeah. just seems like the one in her family to break the mold. Paulina, do you, um, if you were to have a job, what would you work in? With you guys, right here. Yeah. She's left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paulina, are we on the same page? Yeah. All right, Paulina.
We're gonna let you go. Thank you so much. All right, Nick. Just checking for facial reactions. He, I mean, I don't know. Justin kind of looks like he ain't Justin, comfortable with right. people saying the N word. Justin, Justin what right. were you involved with in high school? I was really involved with uh, tennis and swimming. White sports. White Justin, sports. raise your right hand. Sweat. Nervous. <laughs> no, that. No. Adam. I'm sweating like that when I'm shopping at Target. That's because you're broke. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Stop. Kevin, you ain't listening. You didn't hear what Ari just said. What'd you say? Nick, you ever say the N word for fun? No. You ever say the gay F word for fun? Mm, no. Oh, you just you just said, uh. Cause he you know he dropped it in Call of Duty. Also, the way you look up to think, mm, oh. Cause I don't I don't like lying. I've done it in the past. Same here, bro. Same here, brother. I say if you look on my Facebook, I'd be canceled tomorrow. When it comes to the F word, though, all it takes it just takes just like black people they switch it. All it takes is two confident gay guys, and they will switch the F word completely. Well, Justin. Well, when you went to school, you say you were at like PWI type of environment. Did white people around you say the N word? Uh, actually, no. Do you say the N-word often? No. You try to throw us off, you brought a gay Republican in here, huh? You thought you had us, now look at you, Zane. Cause I could tell you the kind of dude who's like, nobody should say the yeah. word. Yeah, ain't that right? <laughs> he ain't like that. He ain't like that. I know it's him, you, try, you tried really hard this time. I think it's Justin. I'm ready to vote, it's Justin. No, bro. it's Nick. Whoa, 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 okay, don't move that fast. Why do you think it's Nick? I just, I'm going off of my gut. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Republicans, they're just like us. But I honestly, literally. <laughs> just like us. You just like, uh, depends on why she's crying. I mean, I don't know. That wasn't the energy. Oh, sorry. That wasn't. The Maybe energy. I'm projecting. Something. You are. I think. I think it's like somebody from your high school looks like him yeah. that was Republican, and you're just like, there's no way that Nick can't be Republican because I know somebody just like you. No, I, I think Audrey's mad because Jimmy's been gone. We limited him first. <laughs> I think she's still upset about that. Nick, to to your defense, he does look more Republican. Yeah. Republicans typically tend to have like strong opinions. He looks. Looks like a guy who's just kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Like, I don't really, yeah, sure. I'll be playing basketball, watching anime, which yeah. is about friendship yeah. and diversity. Yeah. Yeah. And Ju Justin's like, no one should speak that He's way. He's out of the box. He's the person who has opinions that he stands on. Yeah. To be a black person and be like, I don't say, n you stand on that. I agree. I shouldn't say it more yeah, than you do. You wait, wait, I'm about to fight you. What did he say? I didn't even hear it. He said, I shouldn't say it more than you do. <laughs> I'm about to fight you. When you get pulled over, how do you feel? Uh, I don't feel comfortable being pulled over, of course. Well, what about you, Nick? How do you feel? Yeah, I'm pretty go with the flow. <laughs> but I'm saying it's Nick. It's literally Nick. It's so Nick. See what I'm saying the whole time. That could be a white no, thing. No, it's not a white thing. That is a white thing. I love getting pulled over. Right. Exactly. Ari's like, oh, let me talk to my friend real quick. Can I be honest? Bro, I just got so jealous of your answer. <laughs> I just felt so like, man, that must be so nice. Ari, what do you say to the cops when they pull you over? How's your day going, sir? <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning towards Justin because Nick just seems too like, he's a comfortable, chill white dude, man. Yeah. It has nothing to do with being a Republican. Well, how do you feel about the fact that Justin has a black boyfriend? He probably Republican too. You think so? Hell yeah, birds of a flock fly together, right? I'm gonna choose okay. Justin, but I'm perfectly okay with being wrong because you seem like a good guy too. I, I'm confident in Justin, but I agree that Nick could be. There's him. something about him. I, I, he kind of got like a, maybe he, a serial killer on the low. Yeah. I yeah. hope that his secret is Republican and not that you beat your. Yeah, something. Let's yeah. vote, let, let, let's wrap this up. I'm going Justin. Audrey? Nick. Uh, Lawrence? <laughs> I'm going with Justin. Ari? Justin. I too would go with Justin. <laughs> we voted Justin as the secret Republican. Will the real Republican step forward? Jimmy? Oh my God, damn it. From the beginning, I, I was like, it could be him. Did we eliminate Jimmy first? We did. That's why he was so happy to get off. That, remember, he, remember when I said he was, he was, he was about to run off? Jimmy, I don't want you in my DMs anymore. <laughs> hey, can, can you just apologize to Nick? Nick, do we know each other? I don't think so. Okay, I don't know what, I'm sorry. I really must have been projecting and you maybe reminded me of something. I'm sorry, Nick. We learned one thing today. If it walk like a duck, act like a duck, Probably a Democrat. All the day's work, baby. Good night. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.
black dads, they be tripping. My dad's been in prison for 25 years. He still checks to see if I'm not gay. It's just a phone call. He like, man, you got some girls out there? Yeah. Any men? No. Good. I'm like, damn. 